Welcome back to My Hero Academia Anime Review, special number 35. This one viewing the 234th chapter of the manga, Destroyed Memories. Starts out with the leader of the, the Liberation Army basically about to... He's basically crushing Todoroki's hand. And we see flashbacks pretty much from this whole chapter, basically flashbacks to childhood. Him meeting up with, I think it's supposed to be all for one. And you see, like, looks like a sister who... Appearance-wise, looks almost very similar to that of his mother. Uh, well, he looks like his grandmother, but much younger. Mm -hmm. And then we cut back to the present, where he's, where his see, is so crushing his hands. And it's like, and apparently, his head splitting. See his mom, who looks exactly like her mother. Well, his mother, his grandmother, anyways. Ah, oh, damn it. Yep. And like and admiring his power, and then he basically forms his Glock, this black stuff he covers himself with, and he's like once put into this, it also destroys part of the town too, actually destroys a lot of the town, and he goes basically gigantic, and that's how the chapter ends. So yeah, not a lot of stuff happens this chapter. It's basically just a Liberation Army leader of Liberation Army just crushing to work his hand. A flashback briefly to his childhood, him covering himself with black stuff, and going gigantic. That is basically it. That's all that literally happens in this whole entire chapter. Yeah, so I would have thought last week with a hero show up last chapter that we would see like you know the heroes get involved, but no mention of it. Just okay. It's just uh, let's see, Todoroki get basically crushed. So, Flashback to his childhood, which was a really good. It's probably the best thing about this chapter. It seemed briefly his childhood. Basically, he has sister. See his mother. His sister looks like the mother and sister look almost exactly alike. Yeah, it's probably a thing with this family. Yeah, not a lot of stuff happens in this chapter, but I'm gonna give the chapter roughly eight out of ten. It was a good chapter, but but it was stepped down. And plus, also the book had to take a two week break for no reason. Though the next chapter is gonna be released on Friday. Yep, I did check the Bismi release for the next chapter, which we tell 235. That's coming out Friday. Yep. So, yeah. So, also, before I close this video, I want to talk about something that was revealed recently. Like, the fact that the, when the anime is coming back, and how many episodes it's going to have, and, of course, we know about the movies coming out this later this year. First, which the anime is, I know when in October it's going to come out. October 12th. Yep. That's when it's coming out, and it's going to have 25 episodes, which makes it longer than even the previous two seasons. Yeah, it's one episode longer. Yeah, I kind of predicted it was going to be 24 again, but my guess is 25. Okay, fine. That's perfectly fine. Got no problem with that. Maybe wanting to keep the... My, I did hear they're going to... Now, for this season, they're going to adapt the internship arc, which is probably going to take most of the season anyways, and the cultural festival arc. And that's it. as far as they not say they're going to have the arc that comes between the internship and the culture festival, which is like just a, I think it's like a six part story. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not covering that one. I'm I probably think they probably would cover it because it's very quick. It's only about six chapters. You can cover it in just three episodes. Yeah. The movie has come out in December, on December 12th. Okay, almost exactly two months after the movie. Actually, December 14th is when the, the movie comes out, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, it's only been a year since the last movie came out. My guess is the reason why they did another movie, because the first movie was a, was a box off a smash. Yes. Yeah, that's my only personal reason why. I'm sure Funimation, I, I did hear also that, and then I do appreciate this, Funimation is going to be it's gonna be releasing the dub for this particular season, for season four, like, pretty much around the same day as the dub release for, as when it gets released in Japan, which... It's actually pretty good. I do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yep, but I'm definitely looking forward to the season, which starts up in about three months. Yep, that's how much I gotta wait. And by the time the anime starts up, I will temporarily stop doing the specials, unless of course of you whenever the next light novel comes out, which I think comes out in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once the anime starts up, it basically we just, well, just the anime itself, and basically reviewing the the episode, the chapters, of the manga. Whenever the episode comes out for the anime. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, currently, 
right now, aside from One Piece, the only other series I'm currently doing the whole thing of reviewing the newest chapter of the manga released with the newest chapter, the newest episode of the anime. Uh, currently, there's none. I might do it soon for Case Closed. Whenever they finally release the new chapter online, released in English, I mean, I, I know for a fact the chapter's been released. Just I can't find a damn thing. Probably get a chance to see it soon, hopefully. Yep. So, yeah. So, that's it for this particular review. Now, I have roughly four more videos coming today. The next review I'm going to do would be Dragon Ball Super and Movie, reviewing the 8 Giants Bond film. And, of course, the review after that would be Barto and the review of the news chapter Attack on Titan. Yep. And that would be pretty much it for re reviews today. Basically, just four more. Basically, I'm putting up six. Hopefully, I can put up all of them. Hopefully. Okay? But to the next video. Bye.